Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel. VBA is fun. Today we have another inventory contest entry. This is uh, Nermal S. And he, um, just in the nick of time, uh, got this one in. And so let's uh, review. There's three tabs that I have here. Uh, the inventory, sales, and purchases. Inventory just has the basic item numbers and descriptions and unit types. Um, the sales sheet has... Um, a description of any sales transactions and any purchases are in the purchases sheet. Um, they're date and time stamped and with the amounts and they have to do with pricing as well as just the quant not only just the quantity. So each of them um, is you're gonna you have the button to show the inventory form on either of the three pages. So let's just go ahead and open that up. You got a nifty design to it and as you can see it's got a date and time stamp. Not only there, um but it's also constantly ticking so every second that goes by it shows on that label there that's pretty cool so um, or rather a uh, text box I guess so we're gonna do a sale of well, first we'll do a purchase of goods let's purchase some coal currently we have no coal in stock and so we're going to purchase uh, 200 uh, units or MTS whatever of coal at uh, 10 bucks a pop and we're getting a discount of uh, 30 bucks so we'll enter that and now we'll close this out so let's go to purchases it looks like it that fed over here just fine let's go and do a sale now and that was item 1001 which is coal and it says that uh, 1,970 hmm let's see we should have 200 units of coal so let's let's try to sell uh, 150 so we should have 50 remaining and if we bought them at what uh, 10 bucks a pop so let's sell them for 20 bucks a pop and submit that and hit exit that went over here in the sales and so let's take a look at 1001 now looks like I don't know uh, if I did something wrong there but this is showing the price information um, it's not showing how the quantity that we have in stock let's see hmm so maybe I did something wrong, but let's try that again. Let's go to, uh, we have uh, bricks, okay. We have bricks, and it says we have 157,000 in stock. So let's take a look. Bricks. Let's see. Quantity. Um, 165. Hmm. Um, less the eight, so that would be 157. So this is actually tallying up the amount, the the purchases of what we have in the bricks. What's our basis, I guess, or something? But it's not telling us how many uh, quantity that we have. But anyway, um. Um, it's definitely keeping track. It's definitely well, at least submitting whatever I type. Whether if I type it in the sales thing, it types it in here. If I type it in the purchases thing, it puts it in the purchase worksheet. So uh, that part is functioning. So anyway, if you want to vote for this video, click the like button and put your positive comments for normal. And uh, thanks for watching. God bless, guys.